Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And this short video, another video in our series of videos uh, dealing with number theory, okay, uh, is going to attempt to show, it's a very straightforward proof, it's going to attempt to show that the sum of two even numbers is even. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let's let's try to prove this particular this particular fact. Okay, so we want to show that the sum of two even numbers is even. Okay, so let's let's say here's our proof. Okay, okay. and well, if we want to show that the sum the sum of two even numbers is even, we have to have the two even numbers initially to start with. Okay, otherwise we haven't got the two numbers to sum together. So let's assume we have these two numbers. So let's say let let a and b, okay, be even, be even numbers, okay. So what does that mean, okay? If a and b are even numbers, okay. Uh, well, what do we know about them? Based off our division algorithm, we know that two divides into a, and two also divides into b, okay. So if a and b are even numbers, okay. Well, then we have, okay. Uh, therefore, okay. Therefore, we must be able to write a as a product of two numbers where one of the numbers is even, okay? So let a and b be even numbers. Well, therefore, we have a must be equal to uh, two times some other number, let's call m, okay? Where, where m is an element of the integers, okay? okay? Uh, and we must have that b Okay, must also be equal to two times some other number n, where n is an element of the integers. Because this is what it means to be even. What it means to be even is that the number is divisible by two. Okay, so clearly, okay, uh, in this case here, a being written as two times m. Okay, two times m is definitely an even number. Okay, which makes a an even number. 2 times n is an even number, which makes b an even number, okay? So we've been given this particular fact, okay, that we have two even numbers, okay? Well, let's add them together, okay? Uh, well, clearly, clearly, okay, a plus b, okay, is equal to, well, what's a? a by definition is 2m, okay, plus, and b is 2n, okay? And it is common, there's a common factor across both these numbers, okay? So this must be equal to, 2 times m plus n, okay? And don't forget, m and n are elements of the integers, okay? So, well, then that implies, yeah, that m plus n are also an element of the integer numbers, okay? So, actually, what we have here is that this a plus b must be equal to 2 times some other number. Let's call that number 2 times, 2 times p, okay? So, actually, what we've shown here is this, is that if a is an even number, and if b is also an even number, well then the sum of the two numbers, yeah, is equal to two times some other number, okay, uh, where this p is m plus n, okay, which is which is an integer, okay. So actually, really, what we've shown here is that clearly, clearly, well, a plus b is equal to two times p, which makes it an even number. So clearly, we have two divides a plus b. Okay, and therefore, therefore, a plus b must be even, must be even, okay? And that's it, okay? That's our little proof, okay? It's something that we obviously, we, we, we sort of take for granted, okay? And we just, we just assume and we just work with is that when we add two even numbers together that we get an even number. But to do a little proof, it's not very rigorous here, okay? But to do a little proof of this particular, this particular characteristic of the summation of two even numbers, that the summation of two even numbers is actually even, okay? Uh, well, all we have to rely upon is, I suppose, the definition of what an even number is, where in this particular case, we're assuming that we have two even numbers numbers because they're even they must be we must be able to write them as two times some other number okay two times m where m is an integer uh, and similarly b is even so we must be able to write it as two times some other number n where n is an integer and their summation is equal to 2m plus 2n because that's what we've said a and b are equal to a is equal to 2m and b is equal to 2n so their summation must be 2m plus 2n uh, there's a common factor here of 2 when we take the 2 out that gives us 2 times m plus n and m and n are integers so when we add them together we get another integer okay so actually what we've shown here is that a plus b is equal to 2 times some other number which is an integer 
which by definition is telling us that two divides a plus b and therefore a plus b must be even okay guys this was a very very short video uh, and i hope it was in some way intuitive and helpful and uh, once again guys my name is jonathan lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the national college of ireland